We would like to take this opportunity to welcome you to this briefing on car news headlines. In this briefing, we are going to discuss the most recent information that you need to know about Aptera, including the progress of the electric solar car, costs, new specifications, interior, and a great deal more. Make sure you remain tuned. It's time to get started. As of February 2024, the solar electric vehicle SEV firm Aptera, Carlsbad, California, United States, has successfully completed its accelerator program which resulted in the collection of more than $33 million to support the earliest phases of manufacturing for its composites intensive CV. Bing C. The Accelerator program was a community-led initiative that made it possible for anyone to acquire one of Aptra's initial 2,000 vehicle reservation spots by contributing at least $10,000 to the crowdfunding campaign that the firm was running. The program, which was initiated in January 2023, has been successful in gathering substantial amounts during the course of the year. Since the beginning of the new year, it has gathered speed and it has raised more than $2 million in the most recent few days. There was a ranking of each accelerator place based on the amount of investment, with the first spot bringing in close to $4 million in total. Over a period of two years, the company claims to have successfully raised more than $100 million. According to Chris McCammon, who serves as the community and content manager for Aptera. The Aptera community is full of pioneers, dreamers, and those who challenge the status quo. When the market was in a downward trend, other electric vehicle, EV, startups were having difficulty, and the few solar EV firms that were still operating vanished. We were aware that this must not be our story. In collaboration with our community, we are in the process of constructing a solar-powered vehicle that will be used by the people for the people. Through the use of solar electricity, the electric vehicle design of Aptera will be able to meet the majority of the day-to-day -day driving requirements. The business has developed a patented design for two-axis solar panels that are suitable for use in automobiles, as well as an efficient powertrain and energy-dense battery packs, all of which contribute to environmentally friendly transportation. However, before we proceed, we would ask that you kindly support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button that is located below. This will allow you to, to obtain information about your preferences and will also enable you to receive new video updates as they are added to this channel. I am grateful to you. It's time to get going. The Launch Edition vehicle, which is Aptera's first offering, has a range of 400 miles on a single charge, which is additionally impressive. Due to the fact that the Launch Edition is fitted with about 700 watts of solar cells, it is possible for drivers to travel an additional 40 miles per day only on solar power. Through the Accelerator program, Aptera was able to raise $33 million, which allowed the company to acquire the financing necessary to support its earliest phases of production. This event marks a significant turning point for the company. The funds that were obtained through this program have contributed to the acquisition of low-volume tooling and will continue to contribute to the construction of the company's first production intent vehicles, which will be utilized for testing and validation purposes. The final step, which comes after the validation of Aptera's production intent vehicles, is to generate cash for the purpose of procuring tooling and equipment for high-volume production. It is anticipated that this will cost 10 times less capital than traditional manufacturers. We were amazed by the overwhelming support from thousands of prospective Aptera owners when we first launched Aptera as a solar mobility company, Chris Anthony says. Aptera is a company that focuses on solar mobility. With over 46,000 people who have reserved a spot, we are committed to securing the remaining funds that are necessary for the construction of our solar electric vehicle in a high volume production capacity. Despite the fact that Aptera's accelerator program is no longer accepting new members, the firm is still providing everyone with the option to become a stakeholder and participate in its solar mobility movement by visiting invest.aptera.us. We are cultivating a sense of collective ownership and responsibility not only towards this vehicle, but also towards the future of our world. According to Quincy Hilla, Senior Manager of Marketing Communications, we are doing this by democratizing ownership and inviting individuals from all walks of life to become shareholders, Hilla says. In addition, let's look into the specifics of Aptera's electric vehicles, including their models, prices, availability, 
and range at this point in time. You must have been aware of Aptera for quite some time now, but it is likely that you do not have a clear understanding of what the company is planning to accomplish. Before going into other fits concerning the electric vehicle brand and specifications, let us begin our briefing on automobile news by gaining a better grasp of the operation scope of APTRA. R will allow us to gain a more comprehensive awareness of the company's operations. The Aptera has lived twice before. The initial iteration of the firm, which was established in 2006, was responsible for the creation of an enclosed two-seat tricycle that had futuristic looks and an extremely efficient drivetrain. Although the vehicle had a devoted following, Aptera had a difficult time accumulating the funds necessary to construct it. Also, the corporation entered a liquidation process in the year 2011. Things had altered by the time eight years had passed. In light of the fact that the automotive industry and the government were becoming more receptive to electric vehicles, the original founders of Aptera, Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro, believed that it was time to give the company another chance. They started the resurrection by using a crowdfunding campaign on WeFunder, where they promised consumers that Aptera would produce the world's first consumer-viable vehicle that was assisted by solar energy. Due to the success of that endeavor alone in 2019, the firm was able to raise a total of $200,000, and it quickly made the decision to seek more investment by selling shares on its website and organizing significant funding rounds. Over 22,000 individuals have placed a reservation for an Aptera electric vehicle as of the year 2022, and the business has leased a manufacturing facility in the state of California in order to manufacture these vehicles. During this stage, let us investigate the types of electric vehicles that Aptera will attempt to construct. At the moment, Aptera is planning to manufacture a single model, which will be a solar-powered, three-wheeled teardrop that will be called the Aptera. It has a design that was strongly influenced by wind tunnel experiments, and it has the appearance of a dolphin that is slippery. It was designed to achieve optimum efficiency. The business believes that the majority of people will be able to gain 40 miles of range each day from the built-in solar panels, which means that some owners may even be able to forego charging the electric car altogether. The vehicle is constructed using aerospace composites, which help to keep the vehicle's weight down while maintaining its superior strength. Due to the fact that the Aptera is officially a three-wheeled motorbike and not a car, the firm is exempt from many safety regulations that are applicable to four-wheeled vehicles that are driven on roads. In spite of this, the company asserts that its passenger cell is more robust than any other vehicle currently on the road and will leave you unscathed in the event of an accident. Cost is determined by the size of the battery. The 25 kilowatt hours Aptera, which is the entry-level model, has a range of 250 miles and starts at approximately $26,000. The 40 kilowatt hours Aptera, which is the next step up, has a range of 400 miles and starts at approximately $30,000. Above that, the business will offer a 60 kilowatt hours model that offers a range of approximately 600 miles for approximately $35,000, or purchasers will have the option of selecting the top of the line 100 kilowatt hours version, which boasts an amazing range of 1,000 miles for $45,000. There is a lack of clarity on whether or not the company's base pricing include a destination charge. Aptera comes standard with a solar roof and dash, but the business also offers solar electricity in the hood for $300 and in the hatch for $600. Both of these options are available to customers. It comes standard with front-wheel drive, but an all-wheel drive system may be purchased for an additional $2,500. Aptera is currently accepting pre-orders and requires a payment of $100. However, we anticipate that only a small number of early reservation holders will receive their three-wheelers this year. The majority of people will have to wait until 2025 or 2026 to take ownership of an Aptera. The first examples are expected to roll off the assembly line by the end of 2024. Only instructional reasons are being served by this channel. The opinions products and services that are provided by the third parties listed are exclusively the responsibility of those third parties who are not affiliated with Capital One. The products, services, information, and recommendations indicated above 
are all provided by third parties, and Capital One does not supply, endorse, or guarantee any of them. The information that is provided in this article is thought to be correct at the time that it was published. However, it is possible that it could be subject to change. It is possible that the photographs displayed are not an accurate depiction of the product. They are merely given for the purpose of demonstration. The information that is presented on this website is not meant to give legal, investing, or financial advice, nor is it intended to indicate whether or not any Capital One product or service is available to you or whether or not it is suitable for your specific circumstances. If you are looking for particular guidance regarding your individual circumstances, you might want to seek the assistance of a competent specialist. Since the year 2006, Sebastian Blanco has been the author of articles concerning hydrogen automobiles, hybrid vehicles, and electric vehicles. During the unveiling of the first Tesla Roadster in 2006, which was his first green car media event, he came dangerously close to elbowing Arnold Schwarzenegger in the groin in the course of the event. Since that time, he has been making observations regarding the transition away from gasoline-powered vehicles and gaining an understanding of the significance of the new technology, not only for the automotive industry, but also for the entire world. Electronically, the Aptera is only capable of reaching a maximum speed of 110 miles per hour. In light of the quick acceleration, Roush suspension, and superb industry-leading aerodynamics, it would appear that the 110 miles per hour speed, while perfectly adequate for use on the road, is probably quite a bit limited from its full potential. It could be so much slower than its possible top speed that it would be difficult for anyone to overcome the limiting factor. My opinion is that a top speed of 125 miles per hour would be just high enough to eliminate the motivation to increase that setting, unless there are other reasons to think otherwise. For example, the first aerodynamic NAS air stock car was the Dodge Charger from the 1960s to 1970s. In order to keep the racer on the track, the racer required a large wing airfoil to be attached to the back of the vehicle. When Nathan Armstrong stated that the Aptera got more efficient the faster it ran, he was implying that it might require a lower amount of KW slash mile to run 125 miles in an hour as opposed to 110 miles in an hour. It would appear from this that the increased top speed would be beneficial to efficiency. Despite the fact that we are all aware that speed is typically a significant detriment in terms of efficiency, performance continues to be an essential component of the value offer. I'm just puzzled as to why the speed of 110 miles per hour was selected. I am referring to the fact that my Spark EV is restricted to a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour. It is my opinion that the Aptera will be more capable of that in higher speeds for a variety of reasons, yet the maximum speed capability appears to be completely arbitrary. The point is that if the option is arbitrary, I would choose the 125 miles per hour or 124 miles per hour over the 110 miles per hour, unless, of course, there is some reason such as the Aptera becoming too light to stay on the road over 110 miles per hour. Alternatively, you may wish to install tires with a peak speed rating of 112 miles per hour on the vehicle because tires with a greater top speed rating would cost more. At this point, we reach the conclusion of everything for the time being. We appreciate you watching. Have a great time as we hope to see you in the next video.